All right, Dylan, so sign with Maryland. How did you decide that Maryland was the school in the end for you? Well, honestly, it was, it was actually a really long process. Uh, I feel know, like I... I should have committed somewhere earlier, but I just made sure things were right for me, and it all it all just came in at the end of the day. Yeah. What do you see at Maryland right now, especially on that defensive front? You know, a lot of transfers out, but a lot of transfers in as well. And, and right around the time that you committed, Maryland got a lot of other guys on that defensive front as well. Yeah, I think it's actually good to have. We should be pushing each other to work harder and come together as a family. Our front should be pretty pretty solid. Considering all the transfers and recruits that we've got in the last uh, couple of weeks, mm -hmm. what's it going to be like going to Maryland with Neo Avery, who you played yeah. with this year and everything? Nah, that was that was unexpected. Really, yeah. like, he, like he was joking. About, he was joking about it, and the coaches would like joke about it. But I didn't know if it was like I didn't know if it was true. And so yeah, it's just like my my teammates. So yeah, have you talked to him about it since then and everything? Yeah, we're just talking about a couple of years. We should be. Taking over. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's look broader picture here. I mean, there were a lot of other schools that were on you throughout the process. Which schools do you feel like came in second, third, fourth for you? Um, honestly, Rutgers, Virginia Tech, they, they were really up there. I was, Penn State was there, but not as, not as much as like Rutgers and like Virginia yeah. Tech. So. Okay, cool. Um, a little bit again, a broader kind of type of question. Your dad, obviously, you know, uh, Dwight Gooden, you know, is familiar with the spotlight. Um, did he help you at all through the recruiting process and really help you understand? Hey, this is some of the things that you want to do versus some of the things you don't want to do. Yeah, he actually he helped me um, in like quite a few like areas, like not not to like let like everybody come in or like influence you and stuff like that. Because it'll be a lot of people that may be trying to like help you, but. They could be in the wrong or something like that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Now Maryland has some uh, some other targets who are set to announce here at the game. Um, are you have any predictions for these guys or what, it was um, the Harris Cam, brother? Cam Lee Hart, yep. The Harris brothers. Nick Harbor. Yeah. Nick Harbor. He's not committing know. this week. He's not committing today. I mean this week, but at least hopefully we'll get him. What's your big pitch to guys like Nick Harbor and those other guys? I mean, same thing. Everybody's saying you just stay at home. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong. It's nothing better than staying home. So, gotcha. okay. uh, how much did NIL play into your decision? Oh, it didn't really play at all, actually. I know they were talking about like Under Armour and like talking to them and stuff, but it didn't really have a big uh, effect on my decision. Gotcha. Okay, cool. And then when you just see, you know, everything that's going on with the portal and, and in regards to Maryland, but with with all the other schools out there in the Big Ten and, and across the college football world. Did that play a part in your decision at all? Maybe, hey, I'm going to commit to Maryland, and maybe they're going to get some other portal well, players. It didn't really play a. It didn't really play a huge part, but I did uh, start to realize that I could have a good opportunity to play kind of early, considering some of the baggers that are leaving, and like it's just going to be like a young group. So, mm -hmm. 